Is uh, it the mummy? He stands up, uh, clears, he, 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 like, takes, like, a good minute to clear his throat, getting all the phlegm out. <laughs> and, uh, inhales, getting ready to begin, like, his speech, as Justice crashes back <laughs> into the room. And, like, just because El Capital is the first person he sees, he just slams him down into the table <laughs> on his way back to his chair. And El Capital is knocked out cold. Oh, this got the detaining. <laughs> Does any money spill out of his pockets? <laughs> what? <laughs> Does any money spill out of his pockets? Uh, a lot. Like, uh, uh, oh, okay. A, 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 an ungodly off. sum of just treasure they, spills they out of his pockets. They cut the offense all over that. Like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like, <laughs> like, 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 money is just kind of pouring out of his pockets endlessly, but, like, they're also, like, putting the money into their pockets endlessly. <laughs> Can I use my shadow powers to nab, like, ten gold? Mm. Nah, these, these orphans are pretty- they're, they're on it. Shit. <laughs> they said, sadly, cr yeah. Prime knew this will happen, and he sat ne near to Capital. See, so, yeah, now Justice is sitting back in his chair, arms folded, and, like, he, he, he seems mostly calm now. <laughs> okay. I want to yes. antagonize him. Don't set him off, Senka. We've been here long enough. <laughs> I, we need to know, we need to actually make some headway in this meeting at some point. I, I think we've made plenty. Whenever he's gone, what if like we antagonize him? He goes on a thirty-minute rant and then mm -hmm. leaves. We can have ten minutes of actual progress. All right. So, well, in the time he's been gone, the three of us have just been preparing a big banner that says "Justice is just shit," <laughs> <laughs> and we're now just all holding it up. <laughs> yes. Totally. So yeah, ju Justice just kind of like sits down and says, "We're all in agreement then. Hemlock is awful. <laughs> You're awful. I wouldn't know that. I've had a pl pretty good time in Hemlock. You know, the pretty bait, pretty women, pretty boys, pretty gu girls. Let's just appoint someone to take care of the Emberwell problem and fuck <laughs> off." Leon, sta Leon, Leon stands up to me. I, Leon Eotaf, will handle this, for I am, I am a, I am apostle of death, rival of death, and master of everything. Taz just stands up and says, uh, yeah, me too. I say, I offer my service as a noble woman and, well, a woman of great power. Oh yeah, noble woman, that counts for so fucking much. Who the fuck even are you? I'm gonna kill someone as soon as we're out. I think that was the Shadow King. Based on the Shadow King. You're in I the Hall of the Gods, honey. I just I I point out that I'd like to point out that it doesn't matter here, but it matters in the mortal plane, which is where we're doing our business. Unless you got stepped down to do it yourself, but uh, yeah. No. yeah, crime kind of pipes up and says, you know, I don't know why we're having this dick waving competition instead of just, you know, throwing all of our resources at the problem. No. Yeah, that I does seem. That does. I, do I. I just. Taz says. Yes, I can see it with death. Why don't we just throw all of us at the problem? But that was crime who said that. I saw. Yeah, sorry. I meant to say crime. Yeah, I. I agree with crime. Why not just throw all of us at the problem? You agree with crime? In this Taz, case, this yes. Taz, this is a development for you. Leon, we've committed several crimes together. <laughs> Wait, we have. <laughs> yes. Oh dear. Leon, all we've been doing is committing crime. <laughs> we've been committing morally grey but okay crimes, mostly. Huh. Huh. You suck, Justice! Uh, divine authority or not, I don't think it'll go over too well if Emberwell just sees an army heading towards them. Says that. Ex Exactly, so that's why I, Leon Eotaf, will do it. Besides, I can do it. I do it better with all these people hanging around. And besides, I don't want to watch over those kids pointing at the Cockney orphans. There can be... We can provide logistical support, I guess, says, uh... Says Death. 
and uh, Justice just kind of huffs at that. Are you going to contribute anything worthwhile, Justice? He huffs again. Anything? He I'm... huffs a third time. Your Fine, initial ideas quiet. weren't very good, and your mercenaries haven't piped up once this meeting. <laughs> Justice just kind of says, if you want to take care of the problem and you think you can handle it, then okay, go ahead. I know I can handle it. You earned it. Hey, Justice, question. If we have to kill anyone, is it is it okay because it's like to save the world, or are you like that much of a a stick in the mud? Obviously it's fine to kill somebody if they're threatening reality. It would I, be the only just thing to do. I just I mean, like, what if they're, like, a janitor and they're just getting in the way because they don't understand the gravity of the situation? Then yes! Dispense of them! Alright, hey, cool. Hey, I'm just taking this as a free pass to kill everyone. Taz hey, can't help but feel that was about him in some way. <laughs> hey, hey, just, hey, Justice, I have a question. What? If a man robs robs a um, food stand, but he does it to feed his family, is he still committing a crime? Yes. Taz Taz pops up and asks him the trolley problem. <laughs> <laughs> does he storm out? <laughs> the trolley problem. Yeah, you know, pull a lever, kill one person instead of letting letting five die. You blow up the trolley and then track down the person who invented it and kill him. But there's someone in the trolley. <laughs> yes, but what if you had to? What if no, Taz is going to start rules lawyering this moral quandary <laughs> with us, with the spirit of justice? Irrelevant. I have all... Irrelevant. I have too much power. <laughs> okay, but, okay but what if... Perfect. What if... It's what if you're standing on a bridge... And there's five people tied to the tracks below, and a train is heading towards them. But there's a fat person standing by the edge of the bridge. <laughs> and you could stop it by pushing him over. What about that? Does How many of... crimes has a fat person committed? None. It's about one life versus five, but one you've actively ended. I would need to use my moral judgment abilities on all, on all six of the... On all six of the actors involved. How quickly you know... can you do that? Hmm? How long does that take? Not long. <laughs> Not long doesn't mean much when there's a train heading towards you. <laughs> In okay. any case. Justice, they've lived a life of free of sin or any crime. They're all He good. throws They're up all... his hands and says, Is this Q&A or are you going to do something about reality? Oh yes, we'll it... do something about reality. It's just you've, you've done more to delay this than we have. Yeah, he storms out and takes his justice people with him. I have a feeling that even if we fix the universe, our relations with the gods might be irreparably damaged. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, at I mean, this point, only some of them. at this point, Leon just shouts, "Hey, hey, goddess of beauty, mm. I'm Leon Eotef. You might have heard of me." Can I roll strength to like physically attack Leon by elbowing <laughs> ribs? Like Absolutely. I want to deal with him. Yes. Don't. He yeah. also elbows you in the ribs. <laughs> Can I roll? All right. No. Fuck. So at any case, so basically, uh, they all kind of settle down and uh, they all kind of converse with each other. And like Death looks to you and says, "We've thought, we've we've talked about it, and we think your party could handle two other people and uh, stay and uh, stay low key enough to handle this situation." And uh, any of the any of anybody here, you can take as long as it's you know immortal and not one of us. I don't I don't need them. You you guys can pick if you want to. Just don't pick any of the fucking orphans orphans orphans. The orphans all count as one person. <laughs> no, don't pick any of them. <laughs> I uh, yeah I think we'll concede and not bring the orphans. Let's bring someone useful. <laughs> oh my god! Um... They're the greatest criminals on the planet. I'm think I'm thinking the That's I'm exactly thinking the pretty one. rich guy and one of Justice's <laughs> <Pretty> folks. <laughs> the rich guy and 
here's the thing about the rich guy. We're going to Emberwell. It's a very business-oriented city. We could use whatever resources he might have. That's actually a really good point, and he could, like... He knows he knows etiquette. He could probably like get us in places with like, oh, they're with me or like some shit like that. But look at him. He's Actually, just wait. Bored. How did I? I'm sorry. This is a small detail. I very recall. But did Def tell me the state of Emberwell beforehand? Didn't he say some shit was going down there before we even uh, turned up? Or... No, 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 no. He says some shit is about to go down there. Okay, then. So the rich, so the pretty rich guy might still be useful. Yeah. Might. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, wait, so what are our options? Uh, you've we got have some beauty rich... models. Yeah, you, you've got uh, the cat girl. <laughs> Leon's just like, you know... I feel that I was gonna... I was opting against the... I was basically omitting the cat girl ahead of time by not bringing her up. <laughs> I don't want to bring the... I don't want to bring the furry. <laughs> no, Le Leon is sad. We've got David. We have enough of your ex-lovers yeah. following us. Yeah, either around. of the vampires... <laughs> Hey, we can Gosh. trade. We can throw out David. He's not even that good. <laughs> He's really good at, you know, noticing danger and how to avoid it. Mm. <laughs> Leon's like, maybe we we can just trade out David for, like, Naomi. She is much better. We're not bringing no. Naomi. <sighs> God damn it. Yeah, there's the vampires. There's, uh... The fire mages. Fire mages, that's hot. I say the Cockney orphans. <laughs> yeah. Bring the rich guy and the Cockney orphans and just. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a people disaster. <laughs> I feel like like bringing the orphans and the rich guy would put us in that like puzzle of like a farmer has a <laughs> sheep, a head of lettuce, and a wolf or whatever. And you yeah. gotta boat them across a river. <laughs> yeah. God, why isn't Eric online now? This would be a perfect way of introducing his character. Yeah, right. Um, alright, I, 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 my vote my vote is for the pretty rich guy so far. Okay, so... You two can decide one each. Leon isn't. Alright, I've picked, the pr I've picked the pretty rich guy as my selection. <laughs> Alright, um... I'll... I'll pick one of the goths, because we're not bringing Naomi or the orphans, and I feel like vampires are more useful than fire mages. You're not bringing one of... You're not bringing seven cockney orphans with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would like to, but I feel like... I mean, we could. I feel we'll like play. that's as good as bringing zero people with us, because then they'll just <laughs> yeah. they'll just immediately ransack the pretty rich guy outside the city walls, and then it's like, well, now but now like the now they're satisfied, and the pretty rich guy is useless. <laughs> no, no, no. You know what that means? We just condense the, the characters into one just into a group pretty of pretty rich cockney <laughs> orphans. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that, that, that's kind of their Achilles heel, is that no matter how much money they acquire, <laughs> they'll always be poor. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, their pockets are endless, the gold just falls into a void, they're like some kind of horrible monster. <laughs> what a horrible fate. You are just chilling there, mate. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I pick I pick one of the goths, preferably right. a female goth, but no, they they you pick the vamp leader. All right, fine. All I right. pick the the leader, the head vamp goth. from yeah. Metal Gear. No, <laughs> not actually a vampire, just bisexual. <laughs> that is a fucking actual codec conversation they talk about. Oh, he's just called vamp because he's bisexual. It's a slang in <laughs> Romania. It's like, so well, you've got the vamp man. and the rich guy. I mean, the, the, that's who you've requested. Just Perfect. a pair of bloodsuckers. Nice. <laughs> yeah, Death just kind of like looks over and says, he, he looks over at El Capital's unconscious body, which is now bleeding from the forehead, and says, Is he bleeding money? I'm sure he'd be okay with it. <laughs> is he bleeding money? He's bleeding gold. <laughs> yeah, the, the orphans are all over that. I don't yeah. think they've left his side, have they? <laughs> no. I grab a goblet off the table and just kind of like put it under the bleeding drip and just get a goblet of gold. Take yeah. a fucking sip, babes. 
Le- Leon, Leon just got to grab into and grab some Toshi. <laughs> But yeah, um, all right. Yeah, it's <laughs> all right. It's like all right. Well, you can. Well, it is nighttime in the mortal realm, so your biological clocks probably want to go to bed. So probably. spend the night in the palace of the gods, and uh, yeah, we'll drop you off tomorrow. Nice. Eat. Oh, ladies. Uh, yes, you, you immediately walk towards the beauty models. Leon t- basically sh- bragging about how great he was. Actually, should I roll a charisma to, to see how impressed they are? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Like, Naomi was also talking you up to them, so that's her helping. Wow. Good. So there you are. They're all very There we go. Leon spends the night with them. Awesome. All right, so, uh, yeah, you're all going to spend the night in the Palace of the Gods. Yeah, it's not that great, Leon says. Uh, you kind of, so yeah, on your way to your room, you know, you, you kind of pass by uh, Justice's quarters. It's, there, there's very muffled screaming going on in there. <laughs> on his leg, he's just going to become a villain for us in the future. <laughs> no, not if that. Well, considering how Justice acts, maybe, actually. <laughs> I mean, consider how we act. Yeah, but we're not just. No, but I'm, that's what I mean. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah. You guys just gonna spend the night? Yeah. Uh, and uh, without, you know, any investigations? Or you, just, or you wanna look oh. around, or whatever? Leon's busy. Nice. I mean, Can I guess I... I do wander around, just trying. and... What happens to the other groups um, who aren't going to solve the problem? No, yeah, they're, they're all staying the night as well. Okay, then. I guess if I look around and see if there's, like, a fucking loungy area where everyone's just kind of hanging out. Yeah, maybe go around kind of the same place you were at the start. Uh, I just go around and talk to a few folk. Not really anything particular, yeah. I suppose, just... Talk to the giant spider. Mm. Find out what it's like, you know? Yeah. Maybe we actually talk with the pretty rich guy. <laughs> yeah, I probably should prime the. A I probably should prime the two people that we brought along with us. Yeah. Yeah. I. I all right. I, I sit him down like it's a fucking job interview, and I'm like, okay, so you're going to be working with our party. Here's what to expect. <laughs> meanwhile, yeah. Leon. Uh, meanwhile, you see Leon in the background walking around with all three beauty models. So yeah, you just have this goth teenager vampire and uh, this. <laughs> What what and, band and, and, what and band does he have on man, his T-shirt? And a man in just bright, bright glowing robes. Okay, I okay now I just gotta like lean in and sat across the table. So, you two were picked to come along with us to solve the problem. What are you two good at, for lack of a better word? Business. <laughs> Business, right, right. And what about you, golf kid? <laughs> Uh, he just kind of sighs and says, blood magic, uh, killing people. Okay, okay, uh, we'll try and avoid blood that. Blood magic and hiding and blood magic. Oh, well, you've got uh, varied interests, I see. I like this kid. Uh, what are both of, what are your names? I suppose we should be, my name is Taz, by the way. Taz. And you are? <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for them. Uh, the rich man speaks up. I'm Jeffrey Cantel. Ah, oh, Jeffrey. Okay, Jeffrey Cantel, right. And uh, how about you? Oh, actually, how about you, lad? And you know it's spelled like that. <laughs> uh, can I spell lore oh, on definitely. him? Yeah. What, wait, what is the spell lore thing on Jeffrey, uh, the thing again? Uh, is it wisdom or intelligence? It's int. It's spell lore is int. Does Leon recognize that name? Uh, Having been can, 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 yeah, yeah, Cantel is a pretty uh, famous noble family. They're known as the richest noble family in the world. Oh, you're a rich snob. No wonder. The, oh, you're that rich snob. No wonder the Cockney orphans went on you directly. Come on, ladies, we have other things to do. 
And and you, Goth Kid? You lad? Uh, he's, he just kind of sighs and says, Poe. I'm sorry? Poe. Poe, okay. Just Poe. Just Poe. Alan? No. <laughs> well, I look I look forward to working with you, Just Poe. Mm. Did, did Tassius do a fucking dad joke? No, Taz honestly <laughs> believes his name is Just Poe. <laughs> like, in character right now, he thought he just went, like, last name, first name, last name. Oh. Oh. <laughs> is David sitting with you to write this down? Yeah, David's with me. <laughs> they, yeah. We're just interviewing them. Now, look, our group is, um, unorthodox. I, am. Um, I can summon spirits. I kind of like point across the room at Leon. Leon will get on your nerves. He believes he's the leader. Just let him think that, but listen to me. <laughs> Senka. Meanwhile, Leon is playing Twister. Sen <laughs> if I'm not around, listen to Senka. She's just as clever as I am, if not more so in some ways. Oh. Actually, is Senka, are you, are you with me while I'm priming these two? I, I imagine that I'm... I can be... Sure, yeah, I'm okay. sitting in. Now, I like to do these jobs as... I'm sorry to say this, Just, but I like to do these jobs as bloodlessly as possible. Mm. I understand I that... that I understand mind. that... I'm willing to make exceptions, what with the whole of existence being <coughs> on the line. I'm definitely willing to make exceptions there, but... We'll see how it goes when we turn up in Emberwell. Um, Jeffrey, what are your connections in Emberwell like? Uh, Jeffrey says, I am a member of the Cantel family. I need not connections. I simply go where I wish. Yes, but would that actually help us? My money will do the talking, don't you worry. Very good. And, uh, Poe just kind of sighs and says, it's not all of existence that's, uh, that's being threatened. Well, it's big. It's a big enough slice of it for us to be worried. It's just the mortal realm. <laughs> it's so edgy. <laughs> Again, that's enough of a slice for me to be concerned. I heard them talking about how they can just remake it if it actually falls. That's great. We're not gonna. We're not going to cause them the trouble. All right. That's <laughs> regretting not picking the Cockney orphan. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this kid might be more malleable. <laughs> this kid, this kid, you know, this kid is, is, you know, defined by his lack of drive. I'd rather deal with that than that kid's absolute drive. <laughs> I like to add. I like to add a thing. You can see, you can clearly see the Cockney orphans behind some bookshelves on eyeing the rich guy. <laughs> So we're gonna head off to we're gonna head off tomorrow, and we will see how things go. We're pretty handy. We're pretty handy in a scrap, but as I said, we'll see how it goes. We might not even need to draw blood. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know what's gonna happen in Emberwell. To be quite honest with you, I've not been there. So this will be a nice little bit of tourism as well. By the way, Leon has brought Nassim into the fucking common room and just doing poly <laughs> tricks with him. <laughs> And, uh, yes, just belittle Leon all you want. It doesn't affect him whatsoever. I imagine a pretty rich guy going, Is that a unicorn? I, oh, a unicorn? Well, I, uh, no matter. I have seven. So, <laughs> and then, like, after, like, a, a bit of silence. Th thousand. <laughs> 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 Taz, is to, Taz is suddenly very worried about this man's actual amount of wealth. <laughs> could, could the god of money just be an idiot? <laughs> well, Mr. Cantwell, what, what exactly is your fortune? It's the richest noble family on the planet. Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm well, Taz is going to spout lore about this at this point. Yeah. Actually, yeah, can I spout lore too? Sure. <laughs> I'm gonna try. He's gonna have tons of death stuff. Fuck. <laughs> Interesting. You have, 
the Cantels are you, you, yeah the Cantels are known as the richest family. Okay, right, all right. I just I just gotta like go. Yes, that's true. Now, Jeffrey Cantel, Jeffrey Cantel, Jeffrey Cantel. Have you heard of the Almond family? <laughs> In passing, yes. I don't like that. I, well, I don't say this out loud, but I don't like that tone. <laughs> All right. Well, I will see you. I will see you two tomorrow morning, and you know, sleep well and be ready for anything. And Poe, please lighten mm. up. <laughs> I'm ecstatic right now. I, I can see. lean over to Poe and I say, "Don't listen to him. Be as gloomy as you can be." <laughs> so yeah, they walk out of the rooms, go into their individual rooms. Actually, Neil, I have a question. How many yeah. of the mortals here know of Leon beforehand? Almost none of them. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is terrible. Can I find the Shadow King and chat him up? Uh, yeah, you go to the wing of the, gonna... the wing where all the gods are staying. You're gonna pick up nice. the Shadow King? I wanna chat up the Shadow King. Yeah. Do I find him? Uh, yeah, you find his room. Perfect, yeah, so I knock. Alright, nope. uh... You hear him yell out, WHO IS IT?! I say, it's, uh, me, Senka Hawkmir. Um... We have a very minor connection. Come in! I enter. <laughs> Yes, you see him standing on, like, a throne, basically. <laughs> he's just standing, standing on it? But yeah, he's standing on it. <laughs> Very unorthodox. Um, I say, uh, I'm just like, hey, Mr. Shadow King, and I bow. Um, I, I just, I, I have some shadow-related magic, and I just wanted to know if you could tell me a little bit more about it you're tapping into my realm is what you're doing i mean yeah but like you know what it, what's what's the realm like what the fuck do you think i mean <laughs> i imagine shadows but i've never been it's very dark <laughs> i like that um i heard someone say that your realm's purpose is to kill people? It's not the purpose. We do it a lot. It's... <laughs> so there's a lot of death in the Shadow Realm? Yeah. That's... That's interesting. Um... Cool. <laughs> this guy doesn't seem very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> um... I... <laughs> I'm not sure what you expected based on how he acted. I don't I thought maybe he'd be calmer in person. <laughs> I like him though. Um Can you can you tell me anything specific about my my powers or my connection to your to your realm? What do you actually want to know? I just want like to know specifically. things. I don't have specifics, really. There's, I don't really know enough to have specifics. Your powers let you tear open small portals inside of yourself that lead to the... Inside of yourself that allow you to tap into my realm's endless shadows. My realm's endless shadows are all sentient. They all are all sentient. They have many powers, they can manipulate themselves in many different ways in the mortal realm, and I assume you use them to murder people. I do, in fact, use them to murder people. Does that please you? I could go either way. <laughs> what's, what's the good and what's the bad ways that it could go? Eh. <laughs> it's not very descriptive. As long as you're using them. All right. Um, can you give me any cool tips and tricks? Some like strategy guide stats. They don't feel pain, so don't worry about man letting them die. 
that's uh, all right. That's actually great to know. I was worried about that. Um, is there any way that I could control my powers more that you know of? Drink coffee. Drink coffee. <laughs> That's what I do. I like coffee. Yeah. Can is there any way that I can like judge intentions on this guy? Uh, no. You have no idea what the fuck like. <laughs> Is he what, what, in what his life? goal even is <laughs> like in life you can't tell can i ask him can i ask him what his goal is yeah sure i ask him what his goal is goal what yes. yeah what's your what's your goal what's your objective as a guy i don't know why are you alive i don't i didn't ask to be born honestly what's, what's yeah what's the meaning of life come on tell me um <laughs> usually it's to propagate your genes or to like worship some deity of some kind yeah that's wrong you're wrong that's not the meaning of life you what's know what the... you don't deserve to know you don't deserve what? to know asking me something like that you know what, what? leaves i okay i'm i'm he, sorry he he like jumps up and sits and like gets into a sitting position in this throne <laughs> get up don't i just forget I apologize profusely, and I leave. <laughs> oh, and if you kill anyone, try to envelop them in shadows, it's cool! I can do that, for sure. I'll definitely do that. Yeah, and the door <laughs> closes behind you. Oh. I really like this guy. That went over great. <laughs> God, the Shadow King is a nerd. This guy's fucking ten out of ten. Okay, um, I'll go back to the to the lounge area where yeah. everyone else is. <laughs> you see in the in the corner, bunch of people around Leon. Shug, 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 shug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the 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 three like dancers were from the God of Partying. The Guard of Party. The God. Of... What was it? What did he think was causing the problem? Not enough partying. <laughs> <laughs> he thought people were a little too dour. <laughs> he so must have really part. hated the vampires. <laughs> yeah. God. Not gonna lie, Neil. I thought when not, I thought when this started that you were gonna basically adapt fucking Dragon Ball. Tell him that the power arc here. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, Taz goes to sleep. I've got we got a big day ahead of us. Yeah. Yeah. Big day of fighting. Yeah. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> the Lord of Searing Flames is next door. So, Good. you know, you, you have a very warm sleep. <laughs> like, it's too toasty. Warm. No, it's, it's it's toasty. It's nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> He's testing out his theory of not enough fire. Yeah. <laughs> Guess we're gonna go back the next day and, like, the entire forest is ablaze. <laughs> Man, I love these guys. All right, so y'all wake up the next day. It was a very lovely sleep, a sleep befitting of agents of gods. You all had lovely dreams, I'm sure. Yeah. Screaming, lots of screaming. Yeah. I'll, I'm going to roll wisdom for how nice my dream was. T Tassius actually yeah, had quite nice terrible. Nah, nah. No, you had nightmares how this is going to go down. <laughs> a lot of them involved Leon. You had a dream about visiting the realm of Searing Flames. <laughs> Naturally. I am the god of Hellfire, and I bring you fire. You just kind of hear a sizzling coming from Taz's bed. <laughs> Question, Leon, is there a god of propane? 
<laughs> a god of propane. And propane he works a lot with the god of fire. The god of propane and propane accessories. <laughs> I'll tell you what! <laughs> is it Hank Hill, or is Hank Hill just a disciple? Hank Hill's his, uh, disciple, yeah. Hank Hill's his, uh, patron saint. <laughs> The god of propane is patron saint Hank Hill. I love it. All right. Oh, so oh, wait, do we have morning papers in here? Uh, what, whichever newspaper you like. Will Good. Appear. Leon. Leon goes over to the funny comics. Oh, by the way, Leon didn't sleep in his designated room tonight. I hope you realize. <laughs> yeah. Of course. So Leon goes over to the funnies. Yeah. Let's right. see now. Uh, How's today's Dilbert? Uh, Dilbert's talking to uh, Wally, and Wally says, Hey, Dilb, don't you hate when you're summoned to the realm of the gods and they make you solve one of their problems? <laughs> Shockingly on point. <laughs> and then <laughs> Dilbert looks at the camera and says, and looks at, looks at, looks at the paper, looks at you and says, uh, Happy birthday to... Uh, <laughs> Like, you know, you know, someone's name than, like, today's date. <laughs> huh. Weird. How's the Garfield? Garfield is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Took them long enough. Family circus. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even have to follow that one up, just thought it's family yeah. circus or another at this point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a headline that grabs your attention. Oh, ah. um, what's he been up to? <laughs> uh, dashing hero uh, enters Larimer, takes pictures and leaves. Hmm. <laughs> you must yeah. just be paying someone for the coverage. <laughs> <laughs> it, for, it says he's the first person to enter Larimer without their permission in over a hundred years. Wait, Leon, he's really outclassing you. Yeah, you know we all have our off days. And by picture, of course, he means like he 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 did a speed painting. <laughs> so how were your nights? Fine, I slept okay. Taz lies. <laughs> I had a great night. <laughs> well, let's get our two. Let's get our two new companions and head off. My night involved me and three others. I don't yeah, care. The, uh... We picked up on that. <laughs> yeah, the, your, your two uh, hires are waiting for you in the lobby. Okay, let's see now. Oh, hello, pretty rich boy, a pretty rich guy, and you are, think a two point Poe. Poe? Yeah. Adam? No. Just Poe. Edgar? Just Poe. We lost Edgar Dam yesterday. Dameron? <sighs> You're checking. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, the gods all kind of walk in. Uh, just kind of single file. Uh... And uh, Death approaches and says, All right. Well, you guys are all here and you're all ready to go then, right? Yep, I'm ready to. I'm ready for adventure. Now, due to uh, God things, we can't actually drop you off at Emberwell. We're going to have to drop you off at Glimmerstone. Who's what? telling us this? Death. Oh, okay. I was going to diss them, but alright. You're just doing like this that. despite me, aren't you, Death? What, what should we do when we get to Emberwell? What what will fix the problem? Well, the city will be mo pretty normal, actually. Not like Marion, where everything kind of fell apart. Uh, really, you're just gonna have to locate where uh, the where uh, the uh, gems, where, where, uh, the gemstone is, and, uh, see if you can convince them to not use it in one of their machines. Can we when you say the gemstone, it? do you mean the emberstone, or... What's that oh, no, 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 no. You saw it. It was in, uh, that scrap heap place. It was that one. Okay, that was... Alright. Yeah. 
They're gonna have to convince them to not use that, or otherwise steal it, and bring it back to us, in which case we will dispose of it, and if our uh, theory, and if our research we did last night is correct, then that should solve the issue. <laughs> I vote yeah, exactly. <coughs> steal it, because I feel like they're not going to bother. <laughs> listening to us because i think that they probably think that whatever issues there are they can handle it yeah it turns out that wasn't a uh, power source from uh, the robot city now uh, that was actually uh, a relic from the god of energy god oh, so of it's energy. his fault are we overclocking the universe uh, been overclocked for a while, actually. Oh. Don't worry. As soon as you bring it to us, everything will come back. We'll, bring, we'll be back to normal. So yeah, this actually wasn't really your fault. Oh. Say love you. Well, good. Eh. We can keep demolished. We can just keep tearing holes in reality, then. That's uh, good to know. Justice kind of pipes up. That's not entirely true, Death. Don't sugarcoat it. And Death just kind of sighs. I was getting to that, Justice. I was getting to that. In any case, uh, it wasn't your fault to start with, but uh, with that thing in the land, yes, I'm afraid uh, the reality tearing magic of every of everyone's re everyone who uses reality tearing magic exacerbated the situation to the point where we got us where we are today. So, what happens once the problem is dealt with? Will we lose our powers? Uh, I, don't I don't think. I don't, I don't think you will. Probably besides, not. Probably besides, not. Besides, Tess, this is why I don't rely on magic at but all. The closer you get to that stone, uh, the more careful you're going to have to be about how you use your abilities. Oh, great. Yeah. That's fine, I don't use that stuff anyway. In any case, nab the stone, bring it back to us, we'll dispose of it, and everything is hunky-dory. Exactly. What about, and what about Clone Leon, then? If he should head towards it, will he cause danger? Uh, yeah, Clone Leon being near the stone would be very, very, very bad. So, uh, we dispatched uh, the Goddess of Beauty to take care of that. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> Sorry, but Leon. baby, I thought we had something. Hey, so I have a question. Mm -hmm. uh, what happens if we do use our powers near the stone? Uh, I don't know. That's uh, kind of the point. I. All right. <laughs> Probably, I don't know. Maybe nothing will happen. Maybe everything will happen. Who knows? Would I die if I were to use my powers near the stone? You might die, you might become immortal, you might ascend to a higher plane, you might be cast down into the into oblivion. Anything. Alright, so that's a 50-50 shot of it being really fucking good. Mm. We'll see. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I think, for the, I think the closer we get to the stone, the more Taz is just going to be using a shotgun. <laughs> In any case, uh, good luck, and uh, if you fail, don't worry, it's uh, just the entire mortal realm. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah. No pressure, then. Mm -hmm. Leon Irtaf, savior of the realm. Yeah, that's going to sit good. Can you uh, guys, like, I don't know, like teleport us out of there if we like fuck up so that we don't die we'll see okay. anyway in any case uh yeah oh yeah I... and uh you all disappear <laughs> oh leon was gonna say i'm yeah. having a rematch after this yeah and now you're all in uh the t in glimmerstone temple in a like a pet in a room with like a pedestal basically as soon as they teleport the leon says this god damn it the coward do you mind Leon if we take a five-minute break? Sure, yeah. Cool. Well, this journey... Uh, well, actually, no, no, not that. Uh, first, you guys appeared in Glimmerstone Temple, so I guess we should probably deal with that. Uh, yeah, there's, like, a monk in the room who was cleaning up. 
and like he looks at you five and like just kind of goes oh um oh. hello hello what's we're... up we'll be oh yeah oh yeah you're recording yes uh, okay good yeah he says we'll we'll hello? be we'll be uh leaving there's no need to worry about us uh, uh um all right did you come from a different plane Yes. Something like You're, that. That's very prescient of you to say yes. That's exactly what happened. Very well. Uh, okay. He just continues scrubbing, but more vigorously now. Yeah, I, I just walked <laughs> to the exit. Yeah, Cantwell stretches himself out and dusts off his robes and says, Hmm, my, my. Oh, this is a very dirty temple. I have one of my shadow bodyguards just kind of pick up Cantwell and bring him outside. Ah, yes, befitting. I say, once we get to Emberwell, I shall need to have these robes pressed clean. Mid-sentence, one of my shadow guards just covers his mouth. Taz just looks, he... Taz just looks at Sengar and goes, don't, don't mistreat them. I mean... He's just a tool for us, and he's being rude to our <coughs> monk friend. Oh my god. Yeah, Poe just kind of slinks out. Uh, so yeah, Summerstone Temple. Uh, the monks don't seem very concerned with all the reality stuff going on. Right, up north towards Larimer, which we'll dodge, go around, and onwards to Emberwell. All right, so it's time to make a perilous journey. I have a question. I have what? a question. What? Does the rich guy include his bodyguards? Uh, no. More his bodyguards. Yeah. Yeah, we took him away from his mercenaries. <laughs> <coughs> wow. Uh, good. Okay. Um. Well, oh, yes. perilous journey. I'll be scouting on uh, my whole right. purse. I you guess it's the other wisdom task. Uh, well, which oh, was scouting no. again? Uh, scout is... Wisdom. Uh, yeah, wisdom. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Navigation's oh. intelligence. And, yeah, uh, and uh, quartermastery is wisdom. Wow. Yeah, uh, you all eat double rations. I'm oh, no. so sorry. Yeah. We ain't going off course, though. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so on an eight, you get to choose one, Leon. Okay. Drop, as beneficial aspect, discovery, or danger. Notice danger. You know, I feel, I feel we're gonna hit. For once, we're gonna have something beneficial. So you discern a beneficial aspect of the terrain. Yeah. All right. What is it? Describe it. Hey guys, if we take that road, it will go faster. No, but uh, I don't know. I don't actually. I don't know a bit more beneficial. Hmm. Could be a smooth path upwards, something yeah. off the main road. Yeah, it is <coughs> like a, there's a little road off the main road, but like you know, it's it's definitely it's a bit thinner and stuff, but you, it definitely goes faster. It's a shortcut, a shelter, what is yeah, it? Yeah, a shortcut. Alright, so we'll say it's like a cave. Yeah. That oh, like, yeah, no, you good. happen to intuit will lead upward. So, yeah. So that means you'll be undercover from Larimer. Alright. Nice. Hmm. Question, does the rich guy complain a lot? Uh... Does yeah yeah he he doesn't like how dank and dark the cave is. Can I yeah. stuff one of my shadow bodyguards in his mouth? You're already covering his mouth. Perfect. I didn't know if that was a continuous effect. Yeah, I mean he's just mostly happy that he's being carried. <laughs> <laughs> as as long as he's not not able to to complain or be annoying. So is Tess gonna bond with uh, the the got-off kid? No. I'm just ri <laughs> I'm just riding Pepsi. My, I've already gone over <laughs> what I need to with Poe. 
<laughs> Come on, yeah. be like be <laughs> like a dad trying to connect with his goth son. He's not my goth son, he's just some weird vampire kid. <laughs> I told him to lighten up, and so far, disappointed. <laughs> mm. <coughs> Fine. Uh, it's actually, since you picked the rich guy, I guess you're gonna be his surrogate dad. <laughs> So, I'd like you all to roll wisdom. Alright. Maybe I can do something good. What the fuck? Nice. EXP. <clears throat> oh yeah. yeah, is that a failed roll? No, it's not. It's a 7. Okay. Soft. Soft. Uh, you, so, Taz, you stop immediately. Uh, Senka moves forward a little more, but she also notices something's amiss. Leon doesn't. Hmm. So, Taz, hmm. uh, Senka, you know there's another- you feel there's another presence in the cave. Nice. Taz, you look around and you realize this has all the telltale signs of an ogre cave. Leon? <laughs> I just- I, my words just kinda got out of my mouth, so I just turned and said, Leon, have you not brought now. us in- No, you, Leon. You, you, Leon, not now, apparently. <laughs> 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 I've just got a question about this cave that you've selected for us to go through. Yeah, what about it? Taz says as he loads his shotgun. Symbols, banging <laughs> symbols together. <laughs> I'm just going to say this has the signs of an ogre's lair. Sweet! Not, no, no. Not sweet. Yes. Stop walking forwards. Fine. Uh, Taz, you see some sort of figure swing at Leon from behind. Oh DUCK! God. Leon uses dexterity to try to duck. And yeah, you you duck just in time thanks to Taz, and uh... A, t t so that a club narrowly misses your head. Well now. And you hear a, lar a, a loud roar. I raise my shotgun and fire into the and well, I fire at the figure as much as I can see anyway. All right. Roll that. I got the shotgun. Um. All right. Uh, I'm gonna say for now, draw unwanted attention. So All let me, right. Let me double check basic moves. What's the exact wording on? The, is it just draw attention or put your, it's put yourself in a spot or something? Yeah. Yeah, I have to like, I have to kind of like get Pepsi to go forwards to kind of like get the angle or just kind of get the outline of this thing I'm firing at. And that was with uh, lethal rounds. Yeah. All right, well, fire. Okay. It's I mean, damage, damage. All right. Very good. Uh, and you put yourself in a spot. Mm. So, uh, you fire off, you hear it, you see it, you hear it connect, uh, the, the pain, the roar, uh, and in your triumph, you feel as if, as, you feel as though you're lifted off the ground. And then you realize you are being lifted off the ground. Oh, and dear. Pepsi is looking up at you, concerned. Pepsi, and help. Yeah, you look down uh, at your torso, and you uh, have been wrapped in some webbing. Oh my god, are there spiders in here? Oh, is this an ogre spider? Spider ogre? That's an uh, ogre's pet giant spider. You look up, and there is a giant cave spider. Good. How much mobility do I have? Like, I'm got been caught in webbing but can i still move my arms and yeah yeah you can move your arms all right in that case yeah i i pull out the crowbar and i'm gonna try and summon goldfinger all right okay yeah goldfinger emerges perfect i'm i'm not sure if we should let someone else do psych or if i should yeah, just keep yeah, sure. else i have yeah. i have a thing i want to do so the ogre club nearly missed me right yeah so basically, I can still... Leon ju jumps onto it, and he's gonna run up the ogre's arm and try to stab in into its one one of its eyes. Alright. Um, that's This is definitely a daring devil feat. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Oh yeah, Leon does so roll laugh. Death. Roll that. All right. Oh, so shoot. choose two. Um, you end up exactly what you want to, where you want to be, and you feel fantastic about it. So plus one forward. All right. So take a plus one forward to your stab. Yeah, which is also dexterity. Yes. So All nine. Right. To nine. All right. So do your damage. Damn, just free. Yep. And uh, the ogre swats you off uh, his shoulder, like, as soon as you stab at him. Nassim, save me! You crash into the wall and take six damage. Don't! Alright, uh, Senka, what are you doing? Okay, so, um, I'm gonna have my bodyguards <laughs> kind of keep this rich asshole guy safe because I feel like he's completely useless and would die. <laughs> um, so they're just going to be defensive for him. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to summon my, my little minions, my kids. Um, All right. I roll good so that they don't. Yes. Sick. Um, okay. Yeah. So I get three minions who will do my bidding um and uh i'm gonna have them attack uh the ogre all right all of them yeah all three nice of them okay yeah so roll 2d6 plus one three times all right 2d you said three times. Yeah. Okay, so two of them are immediately hit by uh, this guy's club and dissipate. Oh. But one of them does land uh, on his face and stabs at him. Uh, roll a d4. Yeah, and uh, stabs him, uh, stabs at his head as much as it can manage. Perfect. Yeah. That's adorable. All right, so, Taz, uh, the spider mm. is, uh, you know, pulling you forward to the ceiling where it is. Yeah, and I'm going to have Goldfinger just try and slice up all the webbing, cut me free. <laughs> all right. So... I command you. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the webbing is all cut up and you're falling back to the ground. Oh, I'm falling back to Pepsi. Yep. <laughs> Pepsi catches you just fine. And then I'm going to shoot at the spider. All right. Uh, I'm going to expend ammo this time. All right. So that's, I only have one, shot, one shotgun ammo left. So... Let's hope I can make some halfway decent use out of it. Uh, yeah, the thing is just splattered across uh, the ceiling. Well, that went well. All right, yep. cave spiders fucking dealt with. Uh, the ogre barrels forward, uh, charging uh through everything in its path. Uh, both uh. Senka and uh, Pepsi and Taz are in the way. Can I jump out of the way? Yes. With Dex. What Let's... about the rich kid? Roll Dex. What, the kid? The rich, rich boy. Oh, ri the, oh the, yeah, the, the rich... pretty rich guy. The rich oh, the guy rich. is uh, in the corner with the shadows. Or... Yeah, he's oh, being okay. protected by my, my bodyguard. All right, Senka, you get out of the way just fine. How I'm... about you, Taz? I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to, like, kind of rain Pepsi to kind of, like, sight like, dodge to the side with me still atop him. Alright, roll deck. Yeah! Absolutely, he misses completely. And, uh, the vampire kid, uh, basically sidestepped out of the way, and, uh, points, uh, two fingers towards, uh, the ogre's, towards the ogre, and, uh, its open wound on its forehead uh, starts to boil. Oh, nice. Yeah, ah. as the ogre collapses to the floor, 
uh, screaming in pain, and there is like a sort of explosion on its forehead. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the ogre uh, kneels down, but then does get up. It isn't dead yet. <laughs> um, I chose good. I command Goldfinger to just like charge in and start pummeling the thing. All right. While it's trying to recover from its wounds, just go in there and just start throwing punches, cutting at it. Basically giving oh. it the business. By the way, I want to roll yeah. my tools of trade. <laughs> uh, might, might want to wait for this to resolve sure first. Yeah. You sure thing. Okay, so, uh, not 2d8. That was some instincts kicking 2D8. in. 2d8, wow. It's just a d8, and it has the tags, um... It has the tags for oh it just has forceful forceful is what I added yeah so this is right. a forceful attack with eight damage ooh yeah and uh, it is so forceful that you just pummel it into a bloody stump like oh. it was not prepared for that and it just falls over dead nice perfect and I recall Goldfinger <laughs> Le right. you just hear Leon in the distance I did it. Oh, my head. I sh oh, wait. I shouldn't have recalled him. He has healing. Nice. Well, you did it anyway, so... Yeah. Whoops. My head. Whoopsie-daisy. You continue through the cave. We continue through the cave. Yeah. It sure is dark up, in here. And you pop up... over here. Roughly. That's where you are when you emerge. Perfect. Ah! Uh, but, uh, as fate would have it, the weather seems to be worsening now. So we're staying in the cave for a You're night. gearing up for a blizzard. <laughs> what do you a do? fucking blizzard? Yep. What well, do you say? Uh, I... <laughs> Leon is just looking. Maybe we can't go through it. I don't know how dangerous do we all want to live. I mean, it's it's not late. It's a noon. But yeah, there's a blizzard on its way. Uh, and there is a thing for this. Gotta go find it. All right, you can hunker down, or you can forge ahead. Hey, pretty rich guy. Have you ever been in snow? Uh. <laughs> He says, I have several homes across the land so that I never have to deal with such drivel. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. You're, You're gonna have to deal with drivel. I guess so the, problem in, down the problem in my case ahead. is I only have one more dungeon ration. Actually, yeah. does Pepsi have any? Pepsi <coughs> probably has some stuff backed up on him, maybe? So Hopefully if not. you hunker down, you can take shelter and wait out the elements. And that would be one party member rolling nothing, rolling plus nothing. So just a flat 2d6. Or you can forge ahead, where all of you have to roll plus con to push on. Hmm. It's everyone's con. My con is uh, zero. My I'm... con my con is uh, 13, <clears throat> i.e. plus one. I'm at plus one. So I'm rolling flat either way. So as I've, I, I say we should just forge ahead for the sake of... Yeah. Why not? Let me check Psych real quick. No, nothing like that. I was hoping I had a, one of my spirits had a thing that could help us. <laughs> you just hear Leon mutters, goddamn death, trying to defy me. I mean, unless you would allow me to say that I can manipulate any part of this with, out of this with um, Chumbawamba's elemental water bullshit. No. Well, I there mean, we go then. I have technically something that water. might help us. Four. What? Uh, I have... Uh, Gates of Darkness. It lets you travel through the shadow plane <clears throat> to a destination. Everyone rolls wisdom. 
um, and mm. on a plus 10, you emerge as close to your intended destination as possible. On a 7 to 9, the way is long and hard. You choose one, which is you bail out early, some distance away from your intended destination. You bring something from the Shadow Realm with you when you emerge, or you stick it out and emerge with the debility of the GM's choice. Everyone should... takes it individually. We should try it, I feel. Yeah, sure, why not? We have not done yeah. that move yet. And we, Wait, this do you have the like version of that that allows you other people to go? Yeah. Oh, wow. Thanks. Yeah, others may travel through as well. Very good. Yeah, yeah you, you can do that. that. <laughs> Absolutely, you can do that. Leon right. just goes, thank God, I knew we kept you around for reasons. <laughs> <laughs> good, Donya. I, say, I like to think that I do a little bit, I contribute a little bit more than my brand new teleportation powers. Yeah, of course he did, but you know. All right. So I, I guess I will rip open a portal to the shadow realm. <laughs> Meanwhile, yes. at the gods, <sighs> what the fuck did we just say? <laughs> <laughs> say all right, everyone through. Uh, rolling wisdom. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is wisdom, I believe. <gasps> Leon is for once wise. <laughs> Was it seven to nine? It was like pick one. Seven to nine, pick one. You bail out early, some distance away from your intended destination. You bring something from the shadow realm with you when you emerge. You stick it out and emerge with the debility of the GM's choice. By the way, Neo, I still have shaky from like ages <coughs> ago. I don't know when I got that. Could I clear that? Just speaking uh, of abilities. I forget when you got that. Same. I do not remember how long ago I got it, except for it to, like, for how much, for... Uh, uh yeah. Didn't mark it off. Alright, and pretty much you can immediately give it back to me if you want, because I'm just <laughs> going to take the debility. Wow. <laughs> I gotta stick it out. I had to bring that up first. Alright. <laughs> it's the debility of your choice, so it doesn't yeah. have to Oh do god, that. is the fucking rich kid also going to have to roll wisdom and shit? I'm going to say... That you are confused. Alright. It took its toll on you mentally. That makes sense. Yeah. That seems thematically appropriate. That. Hello, Tess. Starting a bit early. Hello. So, yeah. You. But now, here's the thing, Senka. You've never been to Emberwell. No, I have not. So, yeah. You're not just opening it in the middle of the in the middle of the city somewhere. Oh, yeah, obviously not in the middle of the Let's city. Let's say the gate spits you out over here. Yeah. So, the Either city way, is close. in the city is in full view. <sighs> but you're not there, in it yet. There she is. Emberwell. 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 Yeah. Uh, of scum and villainy. A shining metropolis top of the mountains. You can see the smoke from here uh, billowing from its uh, many pollution contributing uh, uh, factories. Why do, I, why do I imagine a Native American standing nearby crying? <laughs> <laughs> this campaign has actually just been a very long environmental message. <laughs> yes, it has. Alright, mostly about fossil fuels now I think about it. But hey. <laughs> Alright, so, group huddle. Just, Alright, we got to go in there, find a gemstone, retrieve it, take it out. We're going to do this by any means necessary. Save the mortal realm. Yeah, it sounds easy enough. Just kick their asses and win. I say that we approach this as stealthily as possible. We shouldn't let anyone know why we're here. We could. Can I at least I, I look, know I look people to, I'm in there? I look to Jeffrey and I say, well, from what I remember of this gemstone, a lot of money was going to change hands for it, so you don't actually have to spend any money, Jeffrey. You just have to look like you will. That, we, mm. that way we could move him to a place where we want him. That yes. too. A very good point, a very good point. I like to imagine Jeffrey uh, still being carried by my bodyguard, but like he's just <laughs> being carried kind of like under its arms, so he's yeah. kind of like horizontal. <laughs> I picture them being carried us. like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> they have a little like shadow like harness for him. Yeah. <laughs> Is Jeffrey yeah. just Jeffrey from Game of Thrones? 
that was that was Joffrey. I think you'll find. Yeah, Joffrey. Basically, same thing. <laughs> no, no one's gonna argue the point. But <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you guys are gonna head over there then to see if you can get into city gates just so nonchalantly. And so let's see. And th- and well, so all of them went down the yellow. Before brick. you can actually get on to the final stretch of road, there is someone in the like just waiting for you along the road. Whom is this? Uh, mild it's creature? just. It it seems to just be some guy, but he's standing in your way with purpose. Can I summon my minions and, and have he's them? He's staring you down. <laughs> ah, you're itching for a fight, eh? Hang on, I not so ha- not so hasty. What is it you want, fellow? He 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 looks at you and says, "You're hoping to go in there and solve whatever problem, right?" That's uh, why is that one none of your business? I have advice for you. What? And I think you should take it. Just uh-huh. turn, just turn away now. Go back and let this run its course. Who are you? That doesn't matter. I think it does matter. Who are you? What stake do you have in the? I'm just someone who wants to ensure nature runs its course. Why? Well, want to press him on this? Well, sorry, lad, but I have to do this so I can get my revenge on death. Yeah, he's got a vendetta, and we prefer to not die, so... If you want to get to Emberwell, you're going to have to get through me. Alright, then. I'm fine with that. Leon says has take up this rapier. The spirit <sighs> of justice has granted us the ability to kill whomever we please if they get in our way, so... We've been given a godly pass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, a We've just been given a pardon. Yeah, we've been given a pardon. Taz just sees his two comrades have already decided on a course of action and just pulls out his crowbar and is like, oh, I'd like to know more, but no. You're not going to tell us anything. All right. All of you roll wisdom. He holds out his hand. All of you roll wisdom. Ten. Eight. Nine. Well, eight. Hmm. Oh, no, nine. Yeah, it adds it on all, Max. Senka. Uh, your shadow, your shadow magic kind of throws up a mental barrier for you. And, Perfect. uh, yes. you feel like a force hit you, but you're fine. Sweden oh. Taz. I, oh, I mean, Leon and Taz. God damn Whoops. it, Sweden. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to Your character yeah. is just you. Yeah, Leon and Taz. <laughs> uh, you two are hurt, but you're both suddenly feel frozen. Like, you can't move. What the? This isn't right. You just feel completely paralyzed. Oh god, it reminds me of the one time I accidentally drank something really bad. The vamp kid is completely paralyzed as well, as is uh, the rich guy. (laughs) The pretty rich kid. The pretty rich guy. Yeah, and uh, the man on the road, walks forward towards Senka and says, Well, looks like you're a little tougher than they are. Of course I am. Double some fighting words. <laughs> Wait, I guess you so shouldn't be... be surprised. I'm not the... You shouldn't be surprised. You're the one with the god magic. Yeah, exactly. So I suggest that you either start talking or stand down. Hmm. He uh, holds out another another arm, another hand. I think it's going to be. I think you've. I think you've made a big mistake, not listening to me. I don't make mistakes. All right. That's my department. Uh, in a moment, he uh, he base so he rushes towards you with his uh, hand now firmly in a fist. What do you do? Um. All right. So. What, like, I don't know what time of day is it? Uh, is no, I'm just gonna say it's high noon. It's high noon? Good. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So, can I, uh, take his shadow? 
Hmm. He's rushing at you right now, so... Yeah, I want to grab his shadow. Alright, uh, well, you want to do that instead of dodging? I Okay, fine, I guess I'll dodge first. Yeah. Right, alright, roll deck. Alright, and I'll let you immediately roll to take his shadow now. Because you rolled a uh, 10 plus. Oh, Sick. nice. Yeah, you got a shadow. All right. Perfect. So, um, first and foremost, um, I have, like, the, the upgraded version of this. So his shadow now counts as a full hireling equal to my level. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what that means, but I'm level 8. Um, and I'm gonna have it, my my shadow hireling now, um, I guess, a, restrain him, um, I guess? Yeah, we'll start with that. Alright. Alright, so you have his shadow kind of wrapped around him now. Awesome. Yeah, and uh, he kind of looks at you and says, You're doing this then? I guess I am. So, would you like to stand down? I can be a very forgiving person. Mm, sorry, but I'm working right now. As am I. Um, can I summon my, my minions as well? Yeah, they're they're here. They're here. Oh, I the the little the little one. Oh, no, 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 your minions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I want to summon them. Ten, six. So I got three of them. Yeah. Um, and while he's restrained, I guess I want um two of them to attack him. All right. So what do I roll? 2d6 plus 1 2D's. for both of them. Ooh. He glares at both of them. And one of them just immediately dissipates. Man, fuck this guy. As uh, the other one does still run forward uh, to strike him once before uh, he before it also dissipates. They have a habit of doing that. Yeah, so... Roll d4. Nani? This guy, he's strong. <laughs> <laughs> I do actually want to roll like a spout lord, see if I know any, like, of just, from how he's acted, from the abilities he has, just if I know yeah. anything about this guy. All right, go oh, ahead. I got a speed wagon this. <laughs> well, it's more that I, if I know who he is, I could start working towards how we stop being paralyzed. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, this is definitely power granted to him by a god. Now I'm just wondering. Now I'm just thinking, Def, you could have given us something here. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Like much in the same way, Senka's shadows are essentially god granted. So nice. is this. Great, we're seeing a battle between God's proxies. <laughs> well, well goddamn, like, the whole parallel- I, it, it really did work out that, like, Senka was the one that that, that, that resisted it. Right. Well, either way, and, uh, Taz is just in the background trying to move his body to get back into this whenever he can. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Leon is just mustering his will. Well, you can all roll- you can both roll wisdom. <laughs> We're both just like Dragon Ball Z screaming right now. Yeah. <laughs> Leon is still very much stuck. Ooh. Hmm. Actually, fuck. That you know minus what? one you've given me has definitely actually right. been felt with the two nines in a row. Okay, so Taz, here what here's what happens. Mm -hmm. You uh managed to wrangle yourself free, but uh, you notice that the world record is on lockdown. Like, it's pretty much frozen. Alright, well in that case... Completely. In that case, I just spin around and just point a shotgun at him. <laughs> I... Uh, do I feel bad about... Well, 
I guess in Taz's nature, yes. I'm gonna say it is loaded with wood ammo. All right. Unless that's uh, like... Senka. Wood still hurts. Yeah. I'd like Senka. I'd like you to roll con. I uh, have that. Yeah. Seven. But uh, by the way. All right. So the shadow restraining him strains to keep him to keep him there, and uh, it does start to tear away. He's about to break free of it. All right. Can, um, can, can I get I... a shot off before then? I'm yes, sorry you to can, interrupt. Taz. Yeah. Just while he's still on lockdown, I see that yeah. he's starting to pull free, and I'm like, okay, put one in him. Yeah, I just fire a witch, a witch shot at him. So Senka, like, you probably haven't been, like, keeping an eye on us, so you just see, like, a wooden pipe, like, a blunt wooden pipe just fly past you and smash into this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Take a moment to just slowly turn, like, what the fuck? <laughs> also, I'm, go I'm just gonna say... Thematically, it actually works that Tass is the one to be sick oh. and broken out. Actually, because... wait, hang on, that's plus one, that's actually a result of seven, because, you know, the beanbag is plus two damage, wood ammo is minus one damage. Yeah. That. Yeah, so that's seven damage. But yeah, isn't gotcha. Tass's spirits kinda... But, no, 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 the, the, you have a d6, remember? This is your damage dice, not oh, the spirit's true, damage Oh, true, sorry. Dice. Should I just re-roll so, yeah, just, just re it entirely? <laughs> yeah. Like, what the fuck? There you go. All right, yeah, <laughs> just as that hits him. Yeah, I just gotta say, I'm back. All right, back yeah. in action. <laughs> and you're clearly right. you're fucking scared of me, I say, as I, like, brandish Senka. the crowbar. What is you want to do? Senka? Senka! Wow. Nice. Okay, hi, She's... sorry. So what did you want to do? Um, okay, so, um, I <laughs> guess... Holy shit, can things nice. stop making noises? Um, okay. So, um, I guess, uh, my, my, my shadow thing is, it's, like, losing its grip on him. Yeah. He just took damage. Um, okay, so is there any way that I can have it kind of, like, not, not, like, just, like, let him go, but kind of, like, throw him off balance or whatever? Like, let go of him in a way that is disadvantageous mm. to this guy? Hmm. Let me think about this. Uh. You know what? I'm going to say. Uh. Make that an intelligence roll. Eleven. All right. Yes, it, it it does spit him out a little. Uh, yeah, it, it like throws off his timing by like uh, just enough that you could get in something on him before he before he goes for you. Nice. I want to get in something on him. All right. What do you want to do for me? How close am I to him? Uh, you're. I mean, he, he's barreling towards you at speed, so you right. know. Okay. Closeness is relative. <laughs> All right, if he's coming at me, then I guess I'll just dodge. All right. Yep. All right, uh, awesome. Yeah, if that's all you wanted to do. I mean, he's going to go for you again. Um, I will... Uh, can I, like, quick draw and shoot my pistol? Uh, roll oh. dex first. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. I want to assist, and I'm going to look what? up the assist. I want to assist with her getting off this shot. How? He's going to barrel towards her. Can I say that he, like, barreled past her, kind of, like, ended up more close to me? So my kind of form is just basically tying up. Like, I reach out with the world wrecker and just trip him, basically. Catch his foot, catch the leg with it. Mm, uh, Alright, yeah, fine. Uh, just... Like a split second of stalling, yeah. Sick. All right, so I roll dex. Uh, but first he has to roll assist. I oh. do. That's plus bonds. I remembered. Yeah. Yeah. Two d six, plus one. So. <laughs> mm. That's mm, a no. that's a failure and a half. Not at all. It's too slow. The mechanism jams, <laughs> <laughs> or something. I don't know. All right. So you get no help here. All right. Well, Roll your deck. By the way, Leon is still trying to unfix right. himself. You did draw your gun. Now you have to roll to shoot it. 
All right, Dex again. Yep. Bam. Volley. Jesus Christ. Hand like cannon. You just keep rolling really well. <laughs> yeah, I do. All right, so she, I shot She's him. cheating. <laughs> All right. Shake so. her dice. Yeah, roll <laughs> a plus dice. one. I mean, roll a d6. Only roll your damage plus one, yeah. All right, so I can just do our d6 plus one. Yeah. It's amazing how we've just this has just descended into shooting this guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nothing fancy anymore. Just guns drawn at high noon. <laughs> well, he yeah. Didn't say it was high noon. Yeah. So yeah, you shoot him in the shoulder. Uh, it blasts right through him, and like he stumbles backwards. Beautiful, because it has. Uh, soul. Yeah. Uh, you see that uh, the gaping wound in him basically just froze. Like uh, bef like it, like his his wound like you would expect to see blood just splatter everywhere, but it's just kind of frozen in midair. Can Leon try and, another uh, attempt it's to? It's now it's now retracting, and Leon, yes, you can roll your fucking wisdom. Leon's just Argh! Argh! there. You go. Leon is a bit pissed. You know what yeah, he's gonna do? You're out. Uh, he sees that and immediately runs up and immediately goes for a punch on Leon. Question oh fuck, I forget. Did my fucking leg have rocket thing? No, it does not have rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you're about to get punched. It has a knife knee. Oh, Leon is Leon is gonna dash or forward and knee him. <laughs> Well, you gotta dodge for he's charging he, for dash to forward and knee him. All right, so yeah, roll basically strength. you know call roll strength. Yeah, roll Meet, strength. Meeting this challenge with oh, nice. Yeah, you uh Arr. complete. Yeah, uh your your knee com your knee collides with his fist. Yeah, roll, uh, roll my damage. And... Or... No, no, don't roll damage. That was a defy danger. Uh oh. Yeah, and their force kind of equals out. Arr. That okay, was... Leon is instantly gonna do a counter-attack by basically roundhouse kicking in with the other leg. Alright. Roll strength. <gasps> Alright, roll damage. We're fucking clowning on this guy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like, you're just all suddenly rolling really well. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked with the wrong group. Leon, you just go, that's for freezing me. <laughs> and as he staggers I... back from the kick, I'm gonna shoot him again. <laughs> this time I've actually loaded the lethal rounds. What? Like, no, what, I'm kidding. What? I'm kidding. When did he suddenly? The, the I'm side... kidding. Come yeah, the fuck okay. on. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Okay. I've got enough wood ammo to spare. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna use ammo. It's funny I haven't actually used that ammo yet. Alright. Yeah. You so, hit him in the stomach and like he sort of like lean he sort of like crouches down, looking at all three of you, like kind of thinking, Huh. You're better than I was told. <laughs> Clearly someone <laughs> underestimated us. <laughs> Clearly someone has. Who sent you? <sighs> someone you know. Wow, we know a lot of people. You care to be a little more specific? Not really. Can I like roll charisma to intimidate him? Sure. Hmm. He says, <clears throat> "Well, well, you'll find out soon enough." That's it's not really an answer. It's pretty clear I can't stop you from going where you want to go anyhow. Goddamn right you can't. Cause we're the uh, power range. No wait. You try and fuck with us. I suppose you'll just have to see just how wrong you are firsthand. <sighs> and uh all of you roll wisdom? Hmm. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Has. <laughs> All right. 
God damn it! In lore, Taz is doing well just because he has like access to spirits, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I don't at the moment. My thing, my shit's on lockdown. Yeah, but you, you, you can bullshit to say you like you have some spirit residue and shit. You can bullshit yourself and say that. <laughs> I'm just saying. So yeah, uh, Taz, you're completely uh, blinded. As uh, basically just like an energy just emanates from him. And uh, he basically just throws himself off the mountain. Damn. <laughs> Bye. So yeah, that happened. <laughs> it's the it's the pretty rich guy just in the corner going. Is the it pretty all rich bad? guy. The pretty rich guy. So see, the pretty rich guy was in the middle of talking before that happened, and like, <laughs> so like suddenly, like after a after like a moment's pass, uh, he just resumes talking like nothing had happened, <laughs> and like, like like from like mid sentence too, like he was stopped mid word and like immediately resumes from the, from where he left off. I want my bodyguard to silence him. He's been silent, he's just been talking through it. Who was that guy? Damn it. <laughs> yeah, the vampire kind of looks around and says, what happened? I, there was a guy, we fought him, and he froze everyone. Oh. Oh. Clear. Clearly yeah. he had some advanced free time freezing powers. Perhaps I've found my rival. Just felt more like a pause to me. I didn't notice anything. Wait, shit. It's the fucking Time Lord guy. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. What do you. What, Senko? It's the. He's gotta be, like, granted magic from the, the time. Time guy. The Clockmaster? Yeah, Clockmaster. That seems like a reasonable guess based on what he did. Actually, what he said his wound had frozen. When you say it frozen, like, do you mean frozen as in stopped in place or like froze over? Yeah, it stopped in place. Okay, then. That's what I was and, wondering about. And our goth son said that it felt like a pause. <laughs> I say that out loud by well, the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, like, he just, like, hiccuped. And, uh, like, suddenly you guys were over there in combat position. <laughs> well, great. That's, oh, this seems to be... Him already. So that's why the Time God didn't turn up to the meeting. He had... He's already made his own moves on this. Does anyone know if there's a way that we could contact Death? Or... I... Poe, could you contact the Shadow King, maybe? I'm not... I, I, I think he advised us... He advised me not to try once we got close to Emberwell. Yeah. I mean... Well, we're on our own then. Hm. A guy who can bend time. Finally, a fitting opponent to Leon Irotaf. I think we should just trust in what we've been told to do for the moment. I guess some major shit's about to go down in Emberwell. Yeah, sounds like it. All right. Yeah. Taz, Taz reloads his shotgun. Yeah. Let's get moving. <laughs> Leon strikes a pulse on the mountain. Yes. We've got to just do something action -y before yeah. we head in there for the poster. <laughs> <laughs> well, there. So, yeah, you're approaching the city. Uh, there are two uh, Emberwell guardsmen outside the gates with uh, their own chrome shotguns. Hey, Taz, look. Uh, I have better shotguns than you. Look at you as you approach and say. Uh, what business have you in Emberwell? Okay, way before, like, we get there, like, before yeah. the guards could notice, I want to, like, have my my shadow bodyguards, like, set Joffrey, Jeffrey, whatever, <laughs> down so that he can walk yeah. the rest of the way, yeah. and it's a little less suspicious. Gotcha, yeah. Yeah. Well, tell him, pretty rich boss. Uh, yeah, the rich guy walks forward and says, Hi, I'm Jeffrey Cantel of the Cantel family. I go wherever I wish. And I have much business to attend to in Emberwell. Bishnitch? They look at him and go, 
exactly what business. Describe it exactly. He kind of trips up. Uh, uh, <clears throat> business. Yes. Money business. I step forward. I have much money. And, like, he, uh, <laughs> like, basically shows off his bling. <laughs> and, uh, they just kind of look him over and say, oh, All right. But you're, all right. Go on in. And, uh, is they, it... uh, let the gates open. Is and he, a... and he walks forward with purpose. And the guards kind of look at you and say, He's going to get eaten alive in there, so watch out for him. <laughs> oh, why do you uh, think we're here? Uh, sure, yes, we're his bodyguards, yes. Mm. Well, maybe now, a little more I... than bodyguards, but... Now imagining fucking uh, him being basically the descendants of King <laughs> Neil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and... Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, Leon, you see them uh, kind of uh, send out a, like a, a clend like a secret message throughout Emberwell saying Class 5 Sucker approaching. Class 5 <laughs> Sucker. Oh, I've son I'm suddenly losing a lot of faith in this man. Alright, so <laughs> that and you're in Emberwell. Next game's gonna be a major shit show. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> so, uh... Bonds. Bonds, bonds, Did anything bonds. evolve? I don't think I did evolve any bonds this this game. I've just kind of been getting back into the swing of it. Yeah, and okay. mostly taking a back seat to all the spectacle. Mm. Man, okay, I think I have one for death. Previously was the fucker <laughs> stole my leg. I challenge him, I'm gonna beat him. Now it's like... So death shows me as one of his apostles. I'm gonna show him. I'm gonna show him how good I am, and then we're uh, gonna have a rematch. Maybe a bond for Senka. I mean, she got, like, she's oh. she, at the end there, she just got elevated to God Disciple. Yeah. Hey. Oh, I have one. Senka ma makes rash, uh, rash, stupid decisions like me. With my guy is making a hero. Okay, I'm gonna change that to God damn it. Senka is, start is starting to outshine me. God damn it. Senka's it. cooler than I am. <laughs> <laughs> I can't let this be. <laughs> uh, now I'm tempted to like. Oh, I have one for Edgar. Him. Edgar's been kidnapped. I will find him. <laughs> I will find him. I will find him so he can say that he likes me. All right. Senka, you got bonds? Um... Oh, uh, but also, justice sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can add NPC bonds, but you remember, it, it, no XP or anything like that. Yeah, no, I'm just liking it to add that. Yeah, because... it's just flavor. So, Senka. Can I make my bond with Leon uh, go from something real like leon may be overconfident cocky and full of himself but has my back and that's what matters and we make kind of a good team to despite leon having my back and us making a good team i think i'm like way cooler than him <laughs> Is that a real bond that i can do uh leon has my back and works well with me but he's nowhere near on my level yeah there yeah you can make that a bond sure God damn. Alright, perfect. Alright. <laughs> How about you, Taz? I don't really have anything this game. Alright. Fair enough. I haven't really updated that. Mine are incredibly wordy. You can have NPC bonds if you want, but that's just flavor. So we'll mm. just move on. Uh, da -da -da -da. Alignment? Alignment? Learn Did something new about alignment? the world. I mean, I learned a lot uh, yeah. about the fucking gods. Yeah. Mine is study the true. occult, so yeah. that was right in my wheelhouse. <laughs> that count. Oh, Go oh, ahead, yeah. I, I feel, I feel like trying to get out of my way to show off my skills, especially with those party tricks. All right. 
Um, I don't think I managed to further a selfish goal. Nope. And Leon? Yeah, I feel what like I yours? get get out of get out of your way to show your skills. Uh, I feel like kind of did, you know, at the meeting and stuff. Like Leon d were trying to s stand out. He was trying to getting out of his way to show off. He did knee that guy in the fist. That's true. And then roundhouse kick him. Yeah, and then immediately roundhouse kick him. That was uh, kind of sick. All right, all right, I'll give you that. I guess that was like yeah. the least practical set of moves he could have done in that situation. Yeah. yeah. All right. So. Kind of I respect that. Leon saw that this guy was going fisticuffs, and so he also went fisticuffs. <laughs> yeah. He, yeah. Did, he did do it with a metal leg, but still good. Okay. Oh my god. So, uh... Did we learn something new and important yes, about the world? Yes, I yeah. <laughs> yeah. We oh. learned that the gods are fucking terrible. They're fucking awful. The gods are crazy. <laughs> and justice sucks. I learned that I should drink coffee. <laughs> All right, yeah, taking a tea for that. Did we overcome a notable monster or enemy? Yes. Um, that guy. Yeah. I feel he was meant to be more notable than he ended up being based on our roles. Yeah. He had super yeah. speed and shit. <laughs> Most. It's because fucking Senka really likes just tying people down. Yeah, dude. And restricting their movement and all that. We also fought an ogre and a. And his giant pet spider. No, no, yeah, 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 take that. You, you can take a uh, driving off hit from Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, you can take that. I think, oh, I, think I should also point out that we overcame <laughs> a meeting of the gods and made, a, <laughs> and made a case. Did we loot a memorable treasure? We looted uh, the rich guy and our goth son. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. So, no on that, and take an XP for playing. Well means. Nice. Well game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, GG. I Neil, to... if, I may, if I may make a w wish what? for future games, I want the Cockney kid to stalk us. <laughs> as long as I... we have the rich, pretty rich guy. Yeah, so, yeah I I'm going to have to just go to hit and just say, alright, I'm going to give him special mechanic, special snowflake mechanics so that that doesn't happen again. <laughs> Obviously what I need to do.